after flight engineers comments on my video I posted yesterday about safe mode gains and panic modes and uh, whatnot, I thought I would do an experiment with my IX-14 and my AR-630 receiver. So I went in and I set up five flight modes and I set the uh, safe mode gains to zero in flight mode one. I set them to 10 in flight mode two, 20 in flight mode three, uh, 30 in flight mode four and 40 in flight mode five. And I figured out that I could go into the AS or the uh, safe mode gain screen and go to the capture um, settings and uh, see what the actual gain was. So I'm going to inhibit the panic flight mode and go back over here to the um, safe mode gains and go to capture gyro gains. So I'm in flight mode four. Let's turn the knob to flight mode one. I, I put the five flight modes on the rotary knob. And so now I'm going to press the panic button and you see the gains go to zero. Now I'm going to turn the knob to flight mode two and press the panic button and the gains go to 10, just like I set them. Now I'm going to go to flight mode three, press the panic button and it didn't change. Did the receiver quit? Yep. Receiver quit. Okay, reconnect. Sometimes it does that. All right, we're in flight mode three. I'm going to press the panic button. Well, right, let's go back to two. Should be 10 and two. It actually changed, but it crashed at the same time. All right, there's flight mode three and 20. Go to flight mode four, press the button. And there's our 30 and then go to flight mode five and we should get 40 and there you go. So uh, if you do not specify which flight mode to go to and panic, it will use the gain for the flight mode that you're currently in. But if you go back over here and I'm going to set this to uh, flight mode one and hit the panic button, set the gain back to zero so that you can see this. So I'm going to go back and uh, go to system setup, I think, panic mode setup, and panic. And then we're going to set this to, let's just set it to flight mode three. Flight mode three had a gain of 20, correct? If I remember right. So when I hit it, it's going to go to flight mode three. So let's go back and go to safe settings and go to capture gyro gains and now i'm in flight mode one and the gain was zero now i'm gonna hit the panic button and the gain goes to 20 which is what i had set for flight mode three i'm gonna change the flight mode to two and i'm gonna hit the button and it's still 20. i'm gonna go to three and hit the button and it's 20. Then I'm going to go to four, hit the panic button. It's still 20. And I'm going to go to five and hit the panic button and it's still 20. So if you specify a flight mode, it's going to use the gain for that flight mode, no matter which flight mode you're in. But if you don't specify it, it's going to use the flight mode that you're currently in. If you inhibit this, it's going to use the one that you're currently in. So it's better to set this to something that you know has safe mode gain set on it. And if you do a factory reset on one of these receivers, all 10 flight modes, the uh, safe gains are set to 35 for roll and 35 for pitch, which is enough to make it work. Um, but just make sure that you use a flight mode and and horizon uses flight mode four which you can't see on, on their binding flies uh so they've kind of hidden it from you um since you can't normally see flight mode four uh using forward programming 
then you can't change the safe gains or the angle limits or anything in flight mode four. So if, if you hit panic, then it's going to work because, um, they've, they're protecting you from yourself essentially. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. You learn something every day. So thanks for watching.